judge heard closing arguments this week in a lawsuit challenging the NYPD's stop-and-frisk program. The program is under increasing scrutiny, with studies showing that 87% of stops target blacks and Latinos, and 90% of stops result in no arrest or summons. Stop-and-frisk isn't the only profiling program used by the department. Let's not forget its spying on New York's Arab American and American Muslim communities, which resulted in no terrorist leads or cases. It seems the NYPD has trouble distinguishing between individual criminals and the communities they may come from. A ruling in the stop-and-frisk case is expected by mid-July. As you know, Congress is considering four bills that would grant visa waiver status to Israel, despite its long history of discriminating against Arab Americans and American Muslims at its borders. We're pleased to report that our opposition to these bills is gaining traction. Last week, the San Francisco Chronicle became the latest in a number of prominent newspapers and blogs to give voice to opponents of these measures. But we still need your help. Tell your senators to oppose visa waivers for Israel. Fill out our Israel border harassment form if you've been detained at Israel's border. And use the Twitter hashtag NoWaiver4Israel. Your actions can make a difference in defeating discrimination. While we've been focusing on Syria, a crisis has been unfolding next door in Iraq. Last weekend alone, hundreds were killed or injured in sectarian violence between Shias and Sunnis. The violence was ignited in April when the Iraqi military raided a Sunni camp, and since then the flames have been fanned by Syria's increasingly sectarian civil war and by the heavy-handed treatment of Sunnis by the Shia-majority government of Nuri al-Maliki. Our policymakers should encourage Iraq's leaders to compromise in a spirit of inclusiveness. They should also take note of lessons learned from our experience in Iraq, as we consider intervening in the Syrian conflict. Countdown favorite Michelle Bachman may have another fight on her hands, and we don't mean with the FBI, who's investigating her office over a campaign finance scandal. We're referring to Democrat Jim Graves, who ran against Bachman last year and came close to winning her congressional seat. Graves says he intends to run against her again next year, and according to a poll, he's already ahead by two percentage points. Frankly, we're surprised it's not more, considering Bachman's history of controversy, conspiracy theories, and ethics charges. Looks like we might have to find a new countdown favorite in 2014.